Hello fellow RC addicts. We are in the Black Flag RC studio today. Why are we in the Black Flag RC studio? Because it's cold out there. <laughs> Here in Wisconsin, it's winter time. And uh, I think it's time to show you my park truck. All right, you guys, this is it. Like I said, uh, D90 frame. Uh, extended. I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. Um, 2008 Ford body with uh, the custom plow and plow mount for the lifting arm. Functional plow goes uh, left and right and center if you want it to. Uh, also trip step. Boom. Boom. Cracks in the driveway. Boom. Pops right over it. Or does a pretty good job at doing so. Um, yeah, I made I made all this myself. Made these lights myself. I still have to um, put the uh, lights in themselves, the LEDs, and uh, paint the inside with a mirror, and then uh, put the lens on. Um, plow frame I uh, made custom, uh, just out of aluminum. Hacksaw, file, and a vise. Well, and a drill and tap, I guess, too. But, um, yeah, there's uh, just a lot of handwork. I made these, um, the plow mount down here. You can see, hold on, there's an easier way. Ha. Plow mount. I did have to drill and tap two holes here. Just to give it a little added strength. But uh, really, it's holding up very well. It's a D90 frame. I love the D90 frames because they're there's holes drilled in them everywhere and they're just they're highly customizable. Okay. Um, notice no body pins. None down the side, none in the back, no body pins. Hmm. That is because the way this body mounts is the ram that goes, there we go, the ram that goes through there holds the front down from side to side. It's not hooked up right now, but you get the idea, right? Okay. And it's just the pinch point in the back. I'm just Put the body in between the bumper here and tighten them screws down. Now this isn't a, a, a trail truck, so to speak, that's going to be rolling over and you know doing a, taking a lot of abuse in in that way. Um, the abuse it's going to be taking is on the front of the truck with the plow and also on the back of the truck because I tend to use this truck to pull my RC trailers. Gotta have a truck to pull your trailers, right? So, also, uh, I have plans for a drop box. I've always wanted a drop box. I think they look so cool. I uh, never had one yet, though. But look at how good this container fits. This is just out of my hobby box. But it, look at that. I mean, it. all I gotta do is cut this lip off here. And basically bolt it to that pad right there and when I put the body on it'll have a nice dropped-in bed I can't wait to show you guys that I plan on doing a video on it um, and I hope you guys enjoy it uh, let's take the body off Voila. got the lights hooked up here so it's gonna kind of stay anyways um, to put this body on here, I had to lengthen the chassis quite a bit, uh, about two and an eighth inches. Uh, how I did that? Uh, two pieces of angle iron sandwiched together, like opposite of each other, if you can imagine. Uh, let me see if I have a prop here. Okay, so I just have two scrap pieces here just to kind of show you guys what I did. Uh, I cut them down. And basically did this and then I bolted through there 
thread it into this one to stiffen the chassis from lengthening it. Um, I did fill in here with a thick aluminum plate so it wasn't hollow in there where I chopped it. But I had to do that because this here angle, you can see, goes back. I couldn't just extend it out the back because then that would change the ride height and shock mounting location. You know, it just, it, I just wanted to do it in the middle. I, don't get me wrong, I was very, uh, very uh, cautious <laughs> when I chopped this in half. But it's holding together phenomenally well. No twisting. Um, it's doing just real great. We got the RC four wheel drive two speed transmission. RC four wheel drive thirty five turn motor. Uh, these these uh, servos are from a China company called Banggood, and uh, they're like the red ones are not waterproof. They're like twenty dollars, and the blue ones are waterproof, and they're like twenty five dollars. And they are some super strong servos, I'll tell you. For how much they cost, they hold up. Uh, my Savox servo here, uh, almost a, like a 500 gram servo to shift my transmission. <laughs> Why? Uh, because this was in my Emacs, a servo saver seized up on it and broke it. Um, I've since repaired it somewhat and it's good enough to shift a transmission. We'll say that. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on. The ESC is also from Banggood. Um, works great. Lipo compatible, lipo cutoff, um, heat protection, throttle loss protection, and a fan for like $13. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. External switch, if you guys like or not, um, but definitely a good deal. Um, I haven't had any problems with them yet. Okay, now, the drive line goes back to a uh, transfer case, roughly 2 to 1. And then goes down to the uh, RC four-wheel drive uh, axles. These are D40 axles. They don't make them anymore, but you can still get parts for them. Uh, I don't know why they stopped making them, um, but I know that they look amazing. So I had to have them on this rig. Um, also, I plan on... Let's, okay, we've uh, been through what the truck is. It runs on a 3-cell um, LiPo. And uh, also, yes, also, these drive shafts, amazing drive shafts. $10 on eBay. You get two of them. Two of them for $10. I think it was like $2 to ship it. Oh, focus. There we go. Yeah, super cheap, but they, they're they all steel, and they they work great. I have a shorter set, too, in another truck of mine, and uh, they were a little bit more expensive, actually. They were $20 for two of them, but still, a good deal. Definitely good deal. Okay. Um, here, you can maybe even see the, the light buckets from the back on how I kind of did this. Okay. I could do another video like showing how I did it here let's see if I can get some good light here it's kind of hard to see but I built them buckets out of spare like sand and hot glue and yes on the back side they look kind of you know yeah they look all right but on the front I think they I think they just look really nice I can't wait to get them yellows in there So, I'd like to talk about the shocks on this rig. Um, the shocks are leaf spring um, with oil filled shocks. Um, fairly stiff, but I need that because I don't want to run sway bars to kind of clutter things up. I want to keep things clean and simple. Um, so, I run it fairly stiff so you don't get any uh, torque twists when you're plowing because that will make your blade unlevel and then dig on one side um so i keep it fairly stiff <laughs> uh we won't go there um and in the back uh fairly stiff as well 
Um, I do have this, I believe the stock helper springs in these. Uh, they have an internal spring, fairly lightweight. I do have heavier ones for trailer pulling. And uh, I believe I have 30 weight oil in here as well. And then on the front, I have uh, 20 weight oil. Um, but I have a little bit heavier spring in there. And this spring sits kind of low. It doesn't start right away, it's a shorter spring. But then the last little bit of it is pretty stiff. And that's so, you know, if snow and, and slush get built up on the blade that uh, it doesn't uh, drop the suspension all the way down. So like you can actually see like the little bit that it, that it dips when it picks up that weight and really adds a real nice scale look. Um, I try and keep everything as functioning like a truck as I can. Also guys, I just wanted to show you this radio I'm using. It's a RC3S, um, fairly inexpensive radio for a 4 channel. Um, it's got lots of options. It's all in analog though, but I mean if you're just getting into the hobby and you're not um, wanting to spend a whole lot of money on a remote, it's great. It has four batteries. Uh, the receivers are cheap, and I think it's like 40 bucks, 40, 45 bucks. But I don't have any problems with it, and it does, it does the job. All right, just wanted to show you guys that. All right. Okay, there it is, all turned on. Check out them lights. Super cool looking. Gonna look way better. Super bright. Gonna look even better with them yellows in there. A little bit more realism. But I just love that bucket. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus, focus, focus. There. That is just a really nice light. Really nice headlamps. Anyways, let's check out the functions. Left, right, or straight, whatever you prefer. Drop the blade, blade up. Now it's kind of low, but you can adjust that by just adding a turn or two on the chain. Now you want a chain, you don't want anything solid in here because when this goes over bumps, you know, you want it to the plow to go up and down a little bit, you know, otherwise you're going to skip snow and then get stuck and all that kind of stuff, right? So, voila, lift her up, chica, voila, oops, uh, anyways, when you come to a bump, and it pops right over, a wonderful truck, I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys fix my falling apart studio and uh, I hope you guys enjoy I'm gonna make uh, a few other videos just to show all my other rigs so hit like and subscribe thank you very much